Let's take a problem on accounting for share premium account. If a company which issued 100,000 shares of rupees 100 each received allotment money of rupees 20 along with share premium of rupees 30 pass journal entries. So now what is happening here? Now what is happening here is that this is a company which has issued 1 lakh shares. Okay. The allotment amount is rupees 20. And a premium of 30 is also called along with the allotment amount. So what's the premium amount? 30. So how much is the total amount called for? 50. Right? Into 100,000 shares. Now there could be two ways through which you can do it. First is, assuming you got the entire money at one go on receipt, you can make two types of entries. You can say bank account debit to share allotment 50 lakh and then as you transfer the share allotment account to the share capital account you can debit share allotment to share capital so how much is the share capital out of this? 20, so 20 into 100,000, 20 lakh. Okay. And share premium. This balance money, I mean, whatever you've received at the time of allotment is 20 lakh towards share capital, the nominal value of the shares that you have received. And 30, which is towards the premium, will go to the share premium account. So this is basically method one. Second method is at this receipt stage itself, you just write bank account debit by the total money that you receive. Now this money represents what? It represents rupees 20 of the face value and 30 of the premium. So whatever pertains to the face value that you can transfer to the share allotment account and the balance you can straight away write that I received this money and account of share premium so I'm just transferring this right away to the share premium account this is at the receipt stage itself and then Basically, your share allotment is left at 20 lakh. This you can transfer through the share capital account the way you had been doing in all your earlier example. So instead of complicating things that you put 50 into share allotment and then transfer 30 to the share premium, you straight away as you receive the money, credited it to the share premium account. Both these methods are correct. There would be a slight bit of a difference as you give the explanation, but you can use either of these two methods.